It's just me and my station wagon, some supernatural beings, and who knows what else. This is Pacific Drive. This is a sci-fi survival first-person driving experience. I'm sold. Uh, this is coming out February 22nd. Thanks to Kepler Interactive, we have an early uh, copy and we can play the opening of the game. So uh, we're going to dive right in right now. We've got nothing. We have no, like, this is it. We're starting completely fresh. Let's see what happens. Would you like to customize your settings? Absolutely not. I want the, I want the real, the full Pacific Drive experience. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. What happened inside was never disclosed. So in this preview build, we'll have the tutorial and I believe the first two uh, missions. Oh, she's a beauty already, I could tell. Lights on. Wipers. We're south of the barrier wall. I got a lot of storage back in this baby. Let's give her. How's she driving? Oh, it's like I just picked her up off the lot in the 70s but she's solid so far we're gonna have to name her I, I like alliteration so we're gonna have to come up with something like my uh, Pacific Pounder it's a weird name I guess for a car maybe the uh, cross country caravan not bad We'll workshop that. Toggle wipers. Okay, I don't have to just look down. Good, because that's not safe. These are not quite the auto wipers of the Tesla generation. But I kind of like the, the manual control of things. Oh my god. Yeah, she corners like a like a boat. Which is unsurprising. Now, I am playing on a streamer mode for audio, which means that there won't be any copyright music that plays on the radio, so they do have um, a large amount of tunage available. I'm sure we'll get some things, but who knows. I kind of just like the... the quiet, the solitude. You know? Me and old Pacific Pounder. <laughs> that might stick, honestly. That might stick. So what's the idea? From my understanding, we're going to be scavenging supplies, making sure our car is in tip-top shape, uh, dealing with different events that we're going to run into. We already had our, our lights on because we're way ahead of the game. And other than what's on the Steam page, I, I am I'm going into this just as blind as you are. not raining on this side. That's weird. Is that static on the radio? What the? What does that say? High R levels facility? Extreme caution advised. Further inquiries directed to gate C2B. Oh, 
look at this. Launch and construction facility ahead. Periodic volume warning. 80 plus decibels next 15 miles. <laughs> okay, well, we're off-roading now. I'm sure this will go well. Rocks, yep. Very helpful signage. Whoa! What was that? What- what is happening here? Look at this! The rocks are like, disappearing? Uh-huh. I'm not gonna lie, if this was just me driving through here... Well, I wouldn't be. <laughs> there's, there's just... Nope, I'd be... I'd be home already. I don't know, maybe not. I don't know, maybe it's like... Maybe it's like... Oh, whoa, the car died too. Like an EMP went off or something. Whoa! Uh... Is that what's left of my car, that tire? Get to safety. Oh my god. I was expecting to be in the car a little bit longer, if I'm being honest. Hello? Someone out there? Hello? Oh. What a swan, I... Oh, never mind. Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. <laughs> this is my new ride? Are you for real? All summer tire. This is be oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be cool. Okay. I mean she needs some love. Definitely. But the Pacific Pounder V2, I think I think she's gonna work here. I mean yes, it's back. It's back! This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid-zone sector B. Do you read me? I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here! Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Oh, we had it so good before. This, this drives like it... <laughs> drives how it looks. Hey, we got a live one! Hey, do you copy? I copy. Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? <laughs> they, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. But if this strand is... Look, it just, it just pulls to the right the whole time. They're a preacher. Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. 
Hey, hey, you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Your closest oh shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. I'm already out of gas. How are we? How do we siphon here? Oh, I need. I need like a. I'm gonna need a hose or something. This takes me back to the days of man. What was that game called? I remember an old like 2D game where you had to. You were like a this super muscly biker guy, and you would always siphon gas. Check your trunk for a fuel can. Okay. What was what is holding that in? What is that? Uh, here we go. Beautiful. So we're on the lookout now for any broken down vehicles. I'm going to need new paneling, obviously. Uh, tires, probably. Uh, windows, and, like, you know, components. What the hell is that? Yeah, I don't know, but I'm out of here. See ya. Let's go, baby! Whoa. Oh, don't hit that. This thing, it just pulls so hard to the right. I don't know if I can convey that very well, you but... That shelter, go on and let yourself in. Now, I'll be ain't gonna like you poking around in there, but better to face a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. Yeah, I can't risk damaging this beauty. More than I already have. Where's my gas here? I'm only... Wait. Yeah, I'm only quarter tank. It's not great. Maybe I could nudge it with the car, but let's see. Oh, nice. I can literally... My quads must be thick as tree trunks, okay? Did not skip leg day. Now, it looks like I should be going that way. But man, am I curious. But okay, I'm not I don't want to get stranded. Now, could this thing potentially have fuel? It looks like it doesn't have much of anything, to be honest. Poppy's Auto Shop. How convenient. How convenient. Yo, I'm gonna park us in here like a professional. Okay, that's... 
interesting. What is this? Yeah, okay, so these cars with like just the the frame not so much. What's up there, I wonder? I gotta look. Is this just for, like, break time? Come up here for smokes? Because there's no... other valid reason to have this whole... scaffolding set up. We got a door code. Okay, we got power. This is great. This is a good start. Pick up the mechanics I had set hanging by the map. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We've sent a preacher to your garage on um, official's own business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car, and, well, uh... The you call the remnant thing? She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super official's own business. Protocol, uh demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I personally written that's 10 years and 17 volumes and... <laughs> Tell her that voice goes like a nail gun to the skull. So, <laughs> another breacher, huh? <sighs> How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun? Unless one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait, I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. I mean... <sighs> Unfortunately, I'm not gonna the barrier do that. wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that card. Don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Okay, well, uh, we lost the wheel. This headset seems to give us a sort of uh, diagnostics view of what we have going on here. So we can open things, we can... Ooh, I don't want to... That looks like I might have been removing it. Let me not do that. Let me just do what it tells me for now before I dismantle my whole car. Beautiful. The fact that there's summer tires leads me to believe we're also going to see winter tires. For some of you, maybe you're like, what? Uh, you, I just have all seasons, man. And that's true in a lot of places. But where I live in Quebec, it's mandated. You have to have summer tires and switch to winter tires. You cannot use all seasons. Um, some places are like where I was from in Saskatchewan. You could just use all seasons all the time, which is kind of interesting. Okay. Add to your to-do list, crude door. Open headset OS. All right, what is this? So I guess this is my blueprints, or sorry, this is my inventory, empty. Blueprints here. We have a whole bunch of different car parts. Here's a crude door. This weary, flimsy piece of oxidized metal will both open and close. I mean, that's pretty much all I need. 
It will also keep out the wind and the rain. Bonus. It just barely meets every technical specification required to be a door. You know what? I'm not... You know what? That's fine. I'm not judging. Uh, looks like C adds it to our to-do list. Or did I build it? We need scrap metal, plastic, duct tape, and glass shards. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't wait till we get actual nice things happening here. Gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist. Search the abandoned car's trunk. Love it. Okay, so, uh, yes, these cars do have some stuff. I need a pry bar. I'm loving the tutorial, actually. This is great. In the toolbox, we have a mechanics kit. We have a pry bar with its own durability. We have duct tape. <laughs> oh my god, this is cool. Okay, 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 okay. Open inventory. Yeah, that's fine. Equip the pry bar. So, equip. Beautiful. What do we have? We have plastic. We'll take that. And road flares. Take that. Useful in a pinch. This powerful potassium-based incendiary burns bright and burns brief even in the wettest of conditions. Okay. Now, search the dumpster by the garage door for crucial items you're unable to craft. So, like... Hmm, is there anything else that I can whip off of this car? Probably not, eh? I can just throw it to the ground, which I don't necessarily want to do. I can equip it from there. Friendly dumpster. Aren't they all? <laughs> what the hell? Scrapper? Scrap the abandoned car's wheels, panels, and doors. Oh, man. Okay. Looks like I have a bunch of... I have, like, a bunch of messages. User manual. Car abilities. Certain components and equipment that you will install in your car have abilities that need to be activated. You can assign controls. Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna get into that yet. Um... Well... Is this working the way that I want it to? Yes. Okay. So we're breaking it down into components. Very cool. And very satisfying. Oh, a full nice summer tire. Now how can I just, uh, how can I just take this? I wonder. I can't seem to. Looks like I'm also getting the trunk there. Get a bunch of rubber. Okay. Craft a crude door in the shop. Will do. Now, what I'm going to do, actually, is grab this. And every little bit helps. That's what I always say about fuel. Let's fill this sucker up. It's not bad. Trunk gunk. All right. Okay, the old-fashioned workbench. Let's get in here. Now, what can we make? First aid kits. This, we can make scrappers. Okay. Uh, we can make pry bars. Maybe not. Maybe maybe not right now. Maybe later. Don't know. Can't craft. Can't craft. Okay, fine. Um, 
Craft a crude door. Right over here, crude door. That we can craft. Boom. Now let's throw this puppy on here. Install the crude door. Yeah, I mean, it's good as new. Pretty much, it's actually pretty much perfect. We have repair putty. When you don't have time or resources to perform extensive repairs, this is a spit and tape solution that will carry you through and fix up the worst of things. First aid kit, spare tire. I'm carrying that. And chemicals. Now, can I put this somewhere? Like, that tire's pretty good. That tire's pretty good. That tire's pretty good. That tire's not. So, let me see about removing this. And we'll put this one on. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, repair putty. Let's equip that. And repair the car. Structural parts. Yeah, I mean, that... That'll do. Ooh. Rear bumper's just non-existent. Same with the panel. That door is great. We just whipped it up. So these panels, I feel like these are what's going to take a real beating out there. You see bottom left how much of the repair putty we have left. That. Okay, it was just in that can. Bumper's good. What else? This door. Look at this door. This is like almost a real thing. Like that's, that's, if the rest of the car looks like this at some point, I'd be stoked. Okay, scan the flat tire. Now, maybe I've gone a little bit off the rails here. And, uh, done some things in a weird order. That's possible. Scan the flat tire. How do we do that? Ah. Okay. This is the spare tire. So maybe, actually, this is not what I want. It's wobbling. This is certainly one component of your car that you don't want to want to work itself free. That's actually not even the one. It's this one. How do I know it's flat? Well, from looking at it, pretty much. Okay, repair the flat by crafting and using a ceiling kit, or replace the flat with the spare tire found in the locker. <laughs> All right. Um. We're gonna have to follow directions. Okay, and then I got this bad boy. Um, I wonder, I wonder, actually. I'm gonna keep the spare. Like, spares don't usually run as well as the actual tires. So I'll put this on and then we'll try to do an actual repair by using a sealing kit that looks like what? Repair the flat by crafting and using a sealing kit. Okay, sealing kit right there. Duct tape and rubber. Excellent. That must be this.
Say goodbye to holes and leaks by furiously, even frantically patching them with this hastily assembled collection of materials. Then ask yourself why you were talking to a hole, which is in fact the absence of something. <laughs> nope, stay on there. Nope, stay there. Excuse me? Fix mechanics kit. Oh, okay. This was the flat one. Yeah, we got things all messed up there. Now we can equip the mechanics kit. Right here. Oh, yeah. Just, like, pretty much like new. Little, just a little tap-tap. It's all, all it needed. Install cardboard boxes in the trunk. Yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. Install craft mat in the trunk. What's this? What's that anomaly that we just saw? What was that? There's something saying anomaly. Weird. Okay, so we can get a, maybe a little bit of crafting done here. There's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car. Wherever it'll fit. On it. It's gonna go in the passenger seat. Oh, cool. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Pick up the gear blueprint by the front garage door. Pick up the impact hammer blueprint by the front garage door right here. Okay, so we're looking for these little things. Whenever we see that, that'll be awesome. Use the pump to fill the fuel tank. Will do. Can I, um, can I store this, though? I feel like this is something I would probably want to take with me. Yep. So then if I look in here, oh, hell yeah, dude. Okay, cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. I don't know if this thing gets refilled. Like, I don't know if we're going to be back here ever, or if this is just a one-time use situation. Throw the switch to charge the battery. Let's do it. If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. Okay. Route planner. This is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does. Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Very, this is, this is sick. So, you can see in the bottom right, density of certain things, fuel, maybe car parts, maybe, I don't know, we don't know what all of these are. Uh, here, fuel density, vehicle density, resource density, building density, uh, radiation density, anomaly density, atmospheric shifts, 
and gate stability, which I'm sure we're going to learn a lot more about. If we look at um, hazard types above that, physical, radiated, acidic, electrical, and strange. Map legend, we got junctions, highway exits, roads, highways, remnant corpse, uh, anchor charge for exit. No exit possible. Junction conditions, the ever-changing conditions in the zone can dramatically alter both the environment and many things you may encounter out there. Be sure to plan ahead. Um, let's go. go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Oh, so cool. So cool. All right. Look, uh, look at this. We're in the future now, pretty much. Just making sure all my doors work. Uh, guys, I think, okay, let's, let's take a pause here. Next episode, we're going to pick up right from here. The car is in perfect shape. No rust, no duct tape. We have almost all of our, like, we almost have all of a car here. It's like an 80% of a car, which is pretty good if you think about it. Uh... Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna pick up from here. And if you guys like this, let me know. I'm gonna go through more of this because I'm having an absolute blast. So uh, if you're new here, consider subscribing. If you've been around a long time, uh, get your own station wagon. This is mine. See you next time. Bye.